653 time for the morning sprint. 400 acres burned in central Wisconsin and the fire that did it now 99% contained this morning. The DNR says there is still unburned fuel in the containment area. This is in Coloma. Around 30 people, mostly Amish, have had to be evacuated. It all started from a pallet fire somewhere along Highway 21. In Chippewa Falls, workers at the Line and Kugels Brewery are on strike. Line and Kugels, of course, popular beer that's headquartered here in Wisconsin. The local 662 union says they're striking for competitive wages and a fair contract. The company says they've offered higher than local market rates and are hoping for a solution that benefits everyone. Plans for a new high school in Monroe are moving forward after an informational meeting last night. Uh, but some taxpayers still feel duped by the referendum to pay for it. Voters have already approved the $88 million plan, but it ended up costing them hundreds of dollars more a year than what was advertised. A uh, public vote on the new site of the high school is now scheduled for Monday at 6.30 in the high school gym. To a crash we reported on yesterday causing a big backup on I-90, crews were responding to an injured driver after they collided with a flatbed semi-trailer that had become detached. The driver hit the back of the trailer and then needed to be extracted from their vehicle. They're in the hospital with serious injuries. Congressman Brian Stile trying to increase confidence for national elections. He just introduced the ACE Act. The act would give election officials social security death lists, improve speed for overseas military vote counting, and it would make it easier for states to use real ID to confirm citizenship. He introduced the bill while the House Administration Committee was on a field trip in Atlanta, Georgia. The Milwaukee Common Council will vote tonight on whether to implement a 2% sales tax, saving the city from bankruptcy, but raising costs for the lower and middle class. Of the 15 alders in the city, 10 yes votes are needed. If the vote passes, households in the city will pay hundreds more per year. If it fails, more than 1,000 fire, police, and city employees will need to be laid off. All right, good morning. Coming up at uh, 7 o'clock, we do have the uh, sun out. So you might notice a little bit of a milkish white. That is some of the uh, smoke from the wildfires coming in from Canada. We do have a northerly wind today, but it's still going to be a warm afternoon as we get into the mid-80s. Some of us saw a little rain last night. We've got a better shot for some widespread showers, some thunderstorms, especially tomorrow morning. Another good chance on Friday. Otherwise, it's going to be warm and heating up much of next week. All right, Kelly, thank you very much. We appreciate it. We'll have a news and weather update in 30 minutes.